Hi guys, driving out here in the garden. So these are my mammoth sunflowers. And for some reason in the back of the bed, they're freaking huge. And the ones in the front of the bed are nowhere near as tall, e easily like three feet shorter. But uh, the ones in the front yard are just puny, but they're planted in sand. So I'm actually proud of them for growing at all. But these guys, Holy mackerel, but what has me thinking, and I'd like to try this next year, is look at the size of the stalk on that thing. I had to cut cut that away because it was strangling it. It was like when I first tied it on, I, I could fit my whole hand through the through the gap, and now it was so tight it started doing that. So I had to cut it, cut it off. But these are mammoth sunflowers or giant sunflowers or something like that. Um, and they grew fast. They actually grew pretty fast. So I'm thinking next year, I'm actually gonna try planting those just as I have them over here. Um, and these got a little spindly because the peas were right in front of it and completely choking them out on the light. But the they were planted when the peas were fairly large so that they got sun at all I'm rather I'm, I'm again pleased that they grew this tall but if I can plant them in the back of the bed like that right on the edge so that way I can push them towards the fence and the fence can be then their their guide I I'm thinking I can use them as beanstalk trellises so I can plant my beans next to these guys because beans grow pretty fast now I'm not sure that they would do well with the peas because the peas are cool weather and the sunflowers like it to be a little bit warmer. So I think my first attempt at that will be beans, but that will be next year. So if anybody else wants to try that and let me know how it is, that would be cool. Now, I do know that the sunflower petals get pretty big. So if I can, like these guys, they're kind of sparse, but that's because they, the sun, they, they were reaching for the sun first before they started really building up their uh, leaves. So I can trim off like the leaves in the back and let the sun, let the beans grow up. I don't know, we'll try it. I'm curious to see if any, like I said, if anybody else has tried this. Um, I've heard, you know, planting beans with corn, but corn is pretty leafy. So I'm not sure if the beans would actually have enough light, especially the way I planted it. I planted super dense this year. Um, but anyway, so that was my thought on these sunflowers, and they do take 120 days, is what it said. So I would have enough time to grow an entire crop of of beans with that. I'm thinking. I don't, I don't have any plans to grow beans this year. Otherwise, I would have I would be doing so. But for next year, note to self: try that. All right, guys. Y'all have fun in your gardens and keep experimenting. Have fun. Bye.